The music industry is a tough place to traverse in today's world. With profits down, more and more people are having a hard time making it, but yet, some still do. From curators, to critics, to artists, to labels, many people are able to find their own niche in the growing world of music and thrive from it. Hi, I'm Matt Monroe from 89.9, and this is How to Survive in the Music Industry. Today on the show, we're talking to Todd Hyman, the founder and owner of Car Park Records, who's currently a host to artists like Tori Moi, Skyward Spence, Spee Ortiz, Cloud Nothings, and plenty others. On the show, we talked about his origins prior to starting Car Park, the day-to-day operations of the label, and more. So, to start off, how did you initially get involved in the music industry? Uh, well, when I got to college, I... I was very excited to start working in our college radio station. It was like one of the first things that I did when I got there. And uh, I, you know, just kind of like did as much as I could. I immersed myself in like the culture of our radio station, did like three different shows and was on the board and uh, eventually ended up being music director for the rock show on our station for a couple of years. And, you know, through that, it was, it was kind of like, I guess, my introduction to the music industry. Talked to, you know, ra- college radio promoters at different labels and independent college radio music promoters. And after I graduated, I moved to New York and worked in a record store and interned at some record labels and went to grad school and studied popular music for a year and then came back to New York and ended up working at my friend's record store and DJing and kind of uh, around then was when I was kind of trying to figure out what to do with myself other than working in a record store and thought that starting a record label seemed like a good idea at the time. We were DJing this every, every week and we were having like live electronic musicians play as well and just met a lot of uh, musicians through that and people who were, didn't really have like labels working with them and so kind of built up a little crew of people to work with and get things going. What would you say is an average day for you working at Car Park? Um, well, I mean, there's, there's, uh, we have three other people who work here and, uh, you know, I kind of oversee everybody and there's just a lot of emails that come and go throughout the day. It's just mostly emails and occasional phone and conference calls and I write checks. I do some accounting, not uh, very glamorous stuff most of the time. I go to shows, um, but, you know, mostly it's just staring at my computer screen, sending emails, basically. And finally, how do you think you survive in the music industry today? Well, I guess it's a lot of luck, pretty much. I mean, you just have to find uh, music that will resonate with people. And you know, we've been as lucky over the years to have, uh, have some, some groups that do pretty well and uh, keep us going. Um, you know, obviously, there's a lot of hard work that goes into promoting and putting out a release as well. And I'm also thankful that we've got a great group of people who believe in what we do and care about what we do and work really hard. So it's just kind of a combination of you know hard work and, and luck or being at the right place at the right time. You know, it's, there's no, no right or wrong answer, really. You know, we put out records and... I often think, you know, this, this record is really great. Like, I don't really understand why, you know, it's not getting like the love. It's, it's not, you know, should get, be getting more attention or whatever. And it's just, you know, people are fickle and it's hard to predict what uh, people are going to like and what they're not going to like. I want to thank Todd for his time and all the great music he's released through Car Park Records. To find out more about Car Park, Visit their website at carparkrecords.com where you can purchase their records, buy some merch, find out tour dates, and more. Also, you can subscribe to them on YouTube at youtube.com slash carparkrecords where you can watch some of their music videos and stream some of their great music for free. The music industry can be a diverse place with everyone from bands to venue owners to producers attempting to work within it. Because of its size, surviving in the music industry is tough as there's a lot of competition out there. I hope from this series that I inspire people to want to be a part of the music industry, as if you work hard enough and meet the right people, you can make it. So hopefully, you learned a thing or two from Mr. Hyman, as this has been How to Survive in the Music Industry. Now let's get back to some great music on 89.9, College Radio's Best.